What's up guys, the Amigo Boys here and we are back with another crafting video as always. This time around we are going to craft um, some item level 86 shaper amulets here. Um, and what we're going to try and craft is getting some of those very nice shaper mods such as either quant or added uh, or I mean the fist has extra elemental damages. We can also get penetration which will always also be very nice. Um, we are using <laughs> a full stash tab today. I think it's the biggest session we have done so far. This is a 144 jagged fossils. The reason we use jagged fossils is because that they are so damn cheap. They are one and a half chaos each. So if you count that with the resonator on top that is 1.5 chaos per try which is essentially chaos spamming but with much better outcomes since we get more physical modifiers and if we go to the PODB here and go to the amulets real quick we can see that physical modifiers they also make the uh, extra damages as a higher chance of spawning which is very very nice let me see if I can find the fossil jacked fossil you can see here it will uh, increase the leech which is a trash mod the mana leech as well as a trash mod added physical is not bad if you combine it with uh, some of the two extra damage as mods extra damage is cold or extra damage is lightning on top of that you can get a delve prefix um, which is up to 30 percent increased physical damage i tested it a little bit and i was really lucky we already made um, some really good amulets we made this one with two extra as uh, tier 2 rolls and then a tier 1 penetration we made this one which is just plain double tier 1 uh, extra as which is 7x this one as well it has tier 1 energy shield Oh no, <laughs> tier 1 elemental damage with attacks, that's what I meant. And the tier 1 extra damage as. This one again is a pretty good crafting base. It is a triple T1 prefix, if you count the delve mod. It has the dual T1 extra as, and then it has the global physical damage, which is very, very strong as well. Um, especially for glacial cascade miners or something like that. And the last one is this one, which is pretty good for a hand of wisdom and action build has increased attributes, resists, energy shield, and elemental damage with attacks. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. We have four bases. I think that's enough. Um, the mods are kind of rare. Um, we're going to go for some good, really good amulets, because the bases are 100 chaos each. So we want to at least get like something that's worth maybe 1 or 2x. So since we got the quant here, it's not good enough. We're still going to reroll that. Um, we want some really, really good mods. Hopefully, if we could get a tier 1, um, the 2 tier 1 extra as a tier 1 penetration on an item level 86 crafting base. Uh, I have a friend that sold that for 2 mirrors, which is absolutely <laughs> insane. So if we can hit that, that will be dope. Alright, not good enough. Let's put him over here so it's much easier to uh, to drag drag the fossils on the item. Hmm. And I mean, I don't expect to get that many good results, because it is quite rare. But still, since we're paying 1.5 chaos per try here, we have w w around, I would say, 1.5x. And I mean, with 1.5x, if we just make one of these amulets a 2x amulet, we still make profit, right? We can always sell the bases afterwards, so that's not really counted in the cost. Because I'm going to craft on those later if we don't hit them now. See, you can see the mods are spawning quite often. Here we have the extra damage as cold and the global physical damage. Um, it's not good enough. We want two extra damage as, or an extra damage and a penetration mod, or some other good stats, for example, high crit multi or something like that, to keep it. Um, and yeah, this is. It can be really tough to judge like what item is good and what item is worth keeping. Um, but generally I think I have a pretty good understanding of the game and like what's meta right now So I, I kind of have a good idea of what's going to sell and what is not um, So yeah, I would not recommend this for any new people that are new to crafting because You'll probably reroll some good stuff and you'll probably uh, Yeah, try to sell some bad stuff that will Oh, he, he's here. We got double T1 extra ass. It is very very nice um, We're gonna keep this one out 
What we could do, it has pretty good resist. We could risk this with the uh, beast crafting, uh, removes a pr random prefix and adds a suffix. I want to do that, but we're going to do that at the end of this session. So we're going to craft on the other ones in the meantime, and then we'll, then we'll be coming back with the beast crafting on this one. Because that, there's going to be some uh, exciting uh, <laughs> stuff. <laughs> there's a one in free chance that it will happen, and then there's a two in free chance of breaking the item. So yeah, we'll come back for that. See your damage per dex. It's actually a pretty rare mod, I think. Yeah, it didn't have anything else. Extra as nothing else. Just the global fizz damage. <laughs> oh. Again, only one extra damage as. Here we have extra damage as cold and penetration. Let's check that because I don't know how much that one will be going for. So we could check it at extra damage. Cold, extra, okay, this is not that one. That's extra cold damage, as extra lightning. Then you make it count over here, so it counts one of these stats, and then you want um, the ant, which just counts all the mods, and then penetration. Mm, how much is the penetration? It's a tier one. So that is, let's say, nine. On an amulet, of course. Yeah, see, they go for 40 chaos. Um, so yeah, that's not worth it, sadly. We're going to have to reroll that. If it was a tier 1 added as, I would have kept it. But it's a tier 2, so... Yeah, not good enough, sadly. Again, we have a tier 1 and a tier 2, and we have... Um, tier 2, physical damage. This might sell, so let's just roll the other one. This is a really good for any uh, attack build out there. Early damage with attack skills, physicals, extra lightning, rip. Um, after this session, I kind of want to make another video testing uh, the two socket resonators, where we also put prismatic in there because that is going to buff the extra damage as even more because it's going to spawn the the elemental damage modifiers and the physical damage modifiers. Um, and that will also mean that, you can see here, now we also have the leech um, that is also the same color as the extra damage as, which means that they will have the same chance to spawn, essentially. Not really, because the chances over here might be a little bit different, but they are buffed by the same rate. Um, but if we put the uh, prismatic in there, you can see more stats get buffed up to the level as the leech, but these get super buffed and they will spawn almost all the time, which is really, really nice. Um, and that means that the penetration will also have a decent chance to spawn and the elemental damage with attack skills. And they're going to have higher chance of spawning than all the other crap stats. So I think that is going to be a very good option as well, because prismatic fossils are not that expensive. Let me check here what they are. Let me see if I can find them. Prismatic. They go over like free chaos, which is really, really cheap. I would probably do that. Um, but bear in mind, now we're spending 1.5 chaos per try. Uh, two socket for, uh, resonators are more expensive if you're going to buy them in bulk. Let's say we want to buy at least 10. That will mean that the cost will go up tremendously. Let's say we pay this guy as 55. So let's say free chaos. And then free for the extra fossils. So that's 7.5 chaos per try instead. Or no, because we can subtract this. Okay, so let's say it's 6.5 chaos instead of 1.5. So the cost is four times higher, and you need to make sure that you get four times as good rolls for it to be worth it, right? So that might not be, uh, yeah. I mean, this one is almost there, but not quite. Yeah, but I'm, I'm probably going to test that as well. That will be really nice as well, so. Quantity, oh, it's a low tier crit multi, damn. Um, this one I would almost keep. Let's keep it for now, we have the last base. Um, it's not really that good. We're probably going to reroll that. Because most magic fine builds go early damage anyways. 
And I mean, you can probably get a talisman with the implicit quote that has better stats than this. So, yeah. And we have the global fist damage. Rip. Not good enough for me. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get at least some good stuff in this session here, because I don't feel like we've been hitting those really, really good rolls. So yeah, I don't know if this is profitable. I Maybe I got lucky in the other session I did before this video, where I tested it. But then again, we only spent 1.5x, so it might not be that big of a sample size. Because you can see the extra ass is spawning quite frequently, but again, it is just most of the times it's only one of the mods that are coming out, right? See, extra damage is lightning, nothing else. Extra damage is cold, nothing else. And a very shitty tier physical damage with attacks. We can't use that for anything either. And then we have <laughs> the penetration. Hmm. Extra damage as. Uh, this one, <laughs> if it had extra damage as just one of them or two of them, this would have been a, in a crazy amulet, but it doesn't, so we have to reroll it. Again, this one, oh, this is a really dilemma, right? Because it, it does seem really good. It has some high tier stats. None of them just works together. So we have extra damage as cold, which works of physical damage. We have the global physical damage, they two work together. Then we have the added lightning damage, which just it doesn't fit in here, right? Because you don't want added damages and scaling fizz is extra. That it is not really worth scaling in those two together. Then we have crit, but we have no crit multi. Crit multi is much stronger than the crit. Then we have decks. No not really many builds scale decks. And if they scale decks, you want to go for something with increased attributes as well. So overall, it is almost there, but not quite, so we're gonna have to reroll it. Come on, man, we need to get some good rolls here. It's starting to uh, dry out. We have we have 12 fossils left. 12 out of 144. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, <laughs> I read that leech as an extra damage ass. Fuck me. Alright, so we hit this, which uh, will sell maybe for 1 or 2x, maybe more, I'm not sure. Then we have this one, we're going to Beastcraft, and then we have this one, I don't know about, this one is trash. So, um, yeah, let me just quickly, let's go over and Beastcraft this. Hopefully we have the Beast for it, or else I'll have to buy that. Oh my god, okay, I need Yellow Beasts. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to do my daily mission here, and then I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, so we have the beast now. We're just going to right-click it to add it to our bestiary. And then we're going to put the item in. And then add a suffix, remove a random prefix. If we can, add, if we can remove the coal damage, we can craft life. And this is going to be probably around uh, a 6 or 7 exalt amulet. If you then the mod it adds, if it adds a good a mod, for example, it could be a quantity, it could be reduced mana reserved, or it could just be any of the normal mods like crit multi or crit chance or resist or anything like that. This uh, amulet can get even better. So hopefully it's <laughs> it has a lot of potential. But it's bear in mind there's a one in three chance that it's gonna remove the cold and one in three chance for all the others. So there's a two in three chance that this will break. Hopefully it won't now, uh, because this is the best item we got in this session, so hopefully that... Fuck. Yeah, as you can see, it added the crit, a low tier crit, and it removed uh, extra damage as lightning, so... Yeah, it's not... It's not worth selling, sadly. <laughs> yeah. So, um, overall, we got these uh, amulets here. I don't know how much they're worth. I don't even think this one is worth selling, to be honest. 
Um, but yeah, we got this one. We can just quickly uh, check the price real fast. Extra damage is cold. Extra damage is lightning. Extra light. And then it had the added physical damage to attacks was say 15 because it divides it by 2 when you sum it up uh, oh it's because it searches up here 2 exalts um, yeah that's fine for me 2 exalts is fine we at least pay this one pays everything back so that's good we didn't really get any profit though but yeah Hope you guys enjoyed the video, stay tuned for more content as always. Peace out.